Merhaba İstanbul. <laughs> I can say it's very tough to go after this show, so maybe we should bring them back or no? <laughs> All right, so. Okay, I hope um, you remember amazing um, presentation from Mr. Ilke from yesterday. Um, it has 43 slides. I remember that number. Why? Because <laughs> our presentation has 39 slides less. We have <laughs> only four slides, but guys, it must be after something like this, it must be like that. Okay? All right, so let's begin. Uh, Madam, can you show just what we will be doing? So this presentation is designed to show you some simple tips and tricks that help you in your everyday solid chem life. And here you can see them, but we will go into live demo, so it's always better to go live. Okay? Yeah. So without any further ado, let's go and start. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's jump into the program. Something's wrong? No? Okay. Uh, you are familiar with... We have problem here? We have problem here. Okay. Let me see what happens. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> ah, small technical problems, I guess. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> yeah, we can continue. As I said, simple tips and tricks, and we will start by showing one really nice option that comes from our amazing integration with SolidWorks, where you can save save your selection of faces and actually use that use that within your geometry. So, Mladen, can you show us how to do that? Yes, of course. Uh, with uh, Control Key, you just can simple select few faces, uh, right click on it, and you have here one option, selection tools. So just save selection, okay? You'll see it here. Of course, um, we can rename it, something like Solid Game World or something like that. And I will back into Solid Cam. I will try to use it in some milling operation, okay? Let me see, Sim5 axis will be good. Geometry. I will select geometry, cat selection. And here you can see that already. So it's very nice option to if you want to quickly use already prepared selected faces. Yeah, and this is really simple. I mean, on this part, but it can be really complex. So um, okay, something that comes up with support often, since we work in international support, is and when we show this option, people remember it and say, oh yeah, I didn't use it in a long, long time. So, Madden, can you show us how yes, variable course. depth works? <clears throat> variable depth in profile and pocket operations. So, I will just quickly create one milling profile operation. Okay, I will select some geometry. Here, for instance, this line here. Not, not that one. Let me see. No. Let me do that again. This line here. No, again. Ah, yes. Okay, sorry. Okay. This is one chain. And it will be confirm. another chain. Uh -huh. I will just confirm it and another chain. Okay. So we have two chains in the same level. I will quickly pick some tool. This one will be okay. Okay, but on the level page, 
you have this option here. It's fireable depth, okay? So you can choose depth for each chain. I will leave this one at zero. And this one, depth, I will just type 1.5, for instance. I will calculate these operations. And you can see here the difference in toolpath. The first one is on zero level, and the second one is on 1.5. Is there any chance making this associative maybe modern? No? Yes, of course. Ah, very of course. Nice. You, can, you can just click in this field. Click in this field and select the very nice. you want to show. Yeah. So again, so, our amazing integration, associativity here on the work. Yes, also, th th this is also a nice tip. Um, mm -hmm. You can easily remove or actually resize this window with double click here or just using control and shift key. It can be very, very useful on presentations. Okay. okay. So next, something often that comes to our support is customers ask often to have some options in their operations like a default, okay? There are some specific, op some specific options which they cannot find in CAM settings. So what we do in support, what we suggest always, use a template operation. You can use a template operation, actually select whatever you want and use that kind of template operation as a default. So Modern will now show us how to do that, actually. Yeah. Let's say I want to use rounded, sharp, and two finished passes here. And I will calculate this operation, save it as a template. Let's okay. say something like this. Okay, I will save and exit. In the come part settings, you have this page here, template page. So just choose profile and, okay, this one is, no, I want to use this one. Okay, so if, if I create a new operation, new milling operation, okay, profile, you will see it's automatically selected here. So on technology page, it's rounded, it's two finished passes, that's it. Madam, is this only for this CAM part, right? This is only for this CAM part, why? Because uh, we used uh, a CAM part settings. But if you open solid CAM settings, you also have the template page here, and you can select it and predefine for all new parts you will create. Yes, that's important for all new parts. Exactly. All right. So one other thing, I'm talking from experience. So since we are working in international support, many times we get parts and we get a question like, I cannot calculate this operation. What's going on? We need some solution, okay? Why I can't calculate the operation? And usually what we do first is open the machine preview. Machine yes. preview tells you much. And here, Modern will now show us what is the first thing that we'll look for when looking inside machine preview. Yeah, the uh, first thing we, we are checking is actually, now you can see a uh, Mac orientation, okay? But this, you can see it's Mac 1 position 2. So we, we are working from the side of the part. You can just turn this off and turn a local coordinate system to see orientation. You can see here Z orientation right now, right? So basically, uh, if you cannot create operation, please use machine preview. See, if you have orange coordinate system, that means we don't have kinematic solution for that operation. So you did something wrong inside operation, right? Okay, also, <clears throat> Uh, always try to use some kind of shortcuts. For instance, I will click on this operation and I will just click C. You see, it's already will be calculated. Actually, all of these shortcuts you have here. You can see it. And you can use it for demonstration. It's very good. 
and to explain to the customer they don't want to lose time or something like that. So it can be useful. I would like to go back to machine preview now. Uh, yes, given, of course. What if, for example, we don't want to open toolkit and select our tool? What can we do, like, graphically? No. Okay, can we select it somehow? Yes, of course. Um, let me see. I will create new operation, profile operation. I will open machine preview. And let me see. I will just pick one tool and select that component. Very nice. It will be automatically selected in tool page. So very this nice. Is very, so you very don't nice have option. to enter a toolkit, right? Very yeah. nice option, yes. And also, I see that you are always opening up machine preview. Yes, but it's we don't have to do that. It's very tedious to do it all the time, We right? don't have to do that anymore because uh, you can pin uh, machine preview here. I will close this operation. Okay. Yes, I will open other operation. And you will see it will be autom automatically opened. Here. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I want to show something also from machine preview, but from the setup machine preview. Sure. Can you open up the setup machine preview, Mother? Many of you don't know this. This is a new option. But now, from machine preview, if you're using your setup sheet, you can now capture an image from, from here and actually capture your machine and how it is set up on the machine. So, Mother, can you show us how yes, it's of course. Really done? Yeah. Just right click here. You have setup sheet and capture image that can use, be used in setup sheet later on. Yeah, it's a nice option. And um, it, will, it can look nice in the setup sheet. Uh, now, we will move on to the next set of topics that Mladen will talk about. Um, and it's about our, how can I say, it's a revolution not only in solid cam, but in whole cam industry. And I'm talking about the best tool management system amongst all CAM software. And it is our powerful toolkit. And Mladen here will show you some simple hacks how to make your life easier here. Okay? Mladen, yeah. stage is yours. Thank you. Okay, I will just add one simple tool here, one end mill. You can see it, right? Uh, let me just see. Okay, good. You can see here, uh, shoulder angle is zero degree. Why? Because uh, arbor and sh shoulder diameter is the same. I will change this one to four, for example. And automatically you will get angle of 90 degrees. What if our tool is different? So I will put here something like 63.4 I don't know, four degree. You will see that change here. But what if you don't want to use 63.4 you can use and swap these units to degrees and minutes also you can swap it to degrees minutes and seconds if you like that way it's very good option for you okay um, the next one can be I think Daniel already showed you yesterday that, but <laughs> let me check uh, how you can easily change some tool here. I will just drop this tool, but with Alt key, okay? And drag it here, drag and drop. And it is automatically changed. So holding Alt key is yes, the replace button, Yes, just holding right? Alt key. Very nice. Nothing else. Okay. Um, also, let's see if I need this holder or something like that. And I really don't want to, to check every um, my TLV file where it's located. Just right click here and locate it in the component library. You will automatically get the, the link 
where is located. Okay, um, also let me check something. I will again open this one and yes, uh, you can easily actually just let me see. No, I cannot find it. Okay, let's go to the next. Uh, also nice option here. Someone uh, want to use uh, advanced view and someone want to use classic view. You can change it here and just click on view. You can change it here or just you can use F9 key. For Is there a quick possibility changing. to make something like Yes, we, we can predefine it in, in VMID file. I hope you already know that in toolkit page, you can just predefine what you like. So every part will be opened in that manner. So uh, what I can show you here, um, if you really want to see some information, you can see here we have many information. For some reason, I want to see that Z always. You can just drag and drop it and place it where you want. So basically when you open toolkit, it will be second or first information you need. Uh, also, uh, you can customize it here. You can see, you can choose details, what you need actually for this tool. I don't know. Whatever you want, you can easily customize it. So that's it. Very nice. Very nice. Um, also, I wouldn't be a setup sheet manager if I don't talk about setup sheet now. <laughs> so Mladen, can you please close this now? Yes. I would like to show you one option that is often neglected. And um, for example, imagine you have a three channel machine, three turrets, okay, 12 tools on each turret, 36 tools, have everything mounted. But for your part, you only use three tools or five tools, okay? But when you generate, it starts blinking, starts creating all the images, okay? And it takes time. If you want to reduce dramatically that time, you can go into your solid cam settings, okay? And there, there is a simple button on the setup sheet page, okay? It's called only use tools. And often our customers and also resellers, they neglect this, they don't care about this, okay? And then they wait for all the images to get captured when there is no actually need for that, okay? Also here, you can see now that setup sheet templates now can be anywhere. They don't need to be in the installation folder. And with this, I would like to say that we could talk all day about some tips and tricks, some simple hacks, okay? But we don't have that much time here, but for the end, Madden has some nice things to show you. Okay. Yes, I will open machine simulation. And if you really want to impress your customers, you can add something like final touch on this. As you can see, this door, nothing special, right? But how you can make it in, in solid cam, actually. If you see this, this is exactly as it is on the machine. So everything you want to do, please research. Spend some time and it can impress your customers, yes. really. So also this machine was done in the, let's say, the capital of solid cam in Turkey, in Konya, as in Konya. Bilker said yeah. already. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Thank you.